What's the difference between lithophane PLA and standard PLA? They look the same on the spool, so why are these ones better than these for printing lithophanes? Here we have two lithophanes. The one on your right was printed using our classic white lithophane PLA, and the one on your left was printed using a generic white PLA. They are both being lit using the same light bulb. We are using a 5000 Kelvin 1100 lumen bulb. They're both the same. So what is the difference? At first, printing lithophanes can require a lot of trial and error. Between dialing in slicer settings and lithophane parameters, it can require a lot of test prints. We worked with the creator of Lithophane Maker to design the lithophane, or litho for short, PLA to help simplify this process, cut down on time and filament waste, and make it as easy as possible to get the best looking lithophanes. Our litho PLA is designed to be more translucent than a standard PLA to give you more control over the contrast of your images, making it easier to capture those finer details. So you might be looking at these and wondering, well, the standard PLA looks just fine. What's wrong with it? And you know, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be wrong. You're not wrong that, you know, maybe this is a good looking lithophane and there's nothing wrong with it, but it took a lot of work. It took a lot of extra work to get it to look like this. Um, it took a lot of trial and error and testing and reprinting the same file over and over again to get the one that looks right because um, it's kind of hard to tell in the video but if you look at the darkest parts of this lithophane like up here in the corners and then like you know on the horns of the silhouette that's coming through here um, there's no light coming through the filament at all it's completely opaque it's blocking hundred percent of the light so you're losing all of the details that are in those portions of the image the the darkest portions of the image are completely all the details completely gone because the lights not able to get through because the materials too opaque with the lithophane PLA let's look at so this one this side right here um, you see her her shirt it it may not show up in the video super clearly her she's wearing a black shirt she has dark brown hair you know the got an apple watch on with a that's black with a black strap and there's still you know these are the darkest portions of the image of the lithophane and there's still light coming through the material and so you're still getting all of the details like it probably doesn't show in the video but you can still see the individual strands of hair in the dark brown hair even even though it's like the darkest part of the image and that's because the material is translucent enough to allow those details to get through and using a generic PLA you're gonna you're gonna lose that and you're gonna get a muddier image not only does the translucency help capture the finer details but it also makes it easier to achieve a good balance between the brightness and contrast of your lithophane with a more opaque standard PLA, you need to make your minimum wall thickness much thinner in order to achieve a good contrast, and this can leave you with a weak or fragile print due to the thin walls. And even then, it can still be difficult to achieve a clear and bright image. We have done countless tests dialing in the best settings for our litho filaments, and you can find these in the Beginner's Guide to Lithophanes available on our website. The difference between lithophane PLA and standard PLA is that we, in collaboration with Lithophane Maker, designed the litho PLA to have improved translucency, making it easier for you to achieve consistent high quality lithophanes. Now I'm, I'm slightly too high. Oh, I gotta sit with bad posture. <laughs> <sighs> wow.
Why don't you use this chair designed for people to sit in? <laughs> they are both lit the same. I wish I was getting lit. <laughs> Ugh.